Okay guys, so for this problem number five, uh, the first thing we do is to get rid of the number next to the variables, so it's going to be adding 12 to both sides. So it's going to cancel, and I'm going to put my variable with a fraction or h over negative 7 on the left hand side, and 6 plus 12 is going to be 18, that's going to come to the right hand side that doesn't affect my results in here. The next thing we do is like in the previous problem, we're going to multiply these by negative 7. So that way negative 7 divided by negative 7 is positive 1. So times negative 7 and again this is not cancellation, it's just a division. I just do this so you don't get confused. All right. We're going to go to the math tools, calculators, 18 times 7, that's going to be 126, so that's going to be negative, negative 126 because it was negative times positive. Let's do the next one. So we're going to add 14 to both sides, so it's going to be 2 thirds A equals to 61 plus 14, that's going to be 75, okay? So one thing we're using here, and even though I didn't tell you before it's called a reciprocal, we can multiply by this both sides and this will make it a fraction. So again I'm going to use this procedure even though it's just a division to make it a 1. So my variable is going to be 1a or just 8 because 3 times 2 is 6 and 2 times 3 is 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1. I'm not going to write that down. And for this I'm going to use my calculator again. So I'm going to go to math tools. You can have a calculator in there for yourself guys, for yourselves. Um, so it's going to be 75 times 3 equal, and this is going to be divided by 2 since 1 times 2 is 2. So my answer is 112, 112.5 positive. Okay. Let's do the last example in here. I'm going to erase all of these. I want to bring this up and let's work on this. So for this one it's going to be subtract 6 from both sides. Remember the number next to the variable cancels. Bring down the negative 2 over 9 v equals to negative 14 minus 6. That's an addition because they, they both have the same sign. So it's going to be negative 20. The next thing you want to do is to get rid of this, so I'm going to multiply by the fraction. I'm going to multiply by negative 9 over 2, which is the same thing here. It's just technically the same signs in here. So this is going to go away. And I'm going to multiply this by negative 9 over 2. So this is going to go away anyway. So this is going to be over 1. And we multiply. I know that v equals to negative 20 times negative 9, that's going to be 180. 180 divided by 2, that, that I can do with our calculator, that's going to be 90. And that's your answer, v equals to 90.